tough. And 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 his work ethic to the point where you you're talking about Jimmy Butler was on. It's, now you got Jim, put Jimmy Butler and the them um, Kobe's mentality with Russell Westbrook. Put them together. That's Michael Jordan in practice. What's going on, y'all? Today we got Michael Jordan gets disrespected by another NBA player, man. Let's get into it. See what's up. One of the biggest pro LeBron James figures in the media has been Gilbert Arenas. In the past, Gilbert, Word? he said LeBron even know that. James to go. He was... It isn't even close. But nowadays, he's changing his tune okay, ever so that's slightly why. in favor of Michael Jordan. But and in his latest yeah, video, recently, I was really surprised did. to see Gilbert sticking up for Jordan as the best draft pick of all time in a fantasy draft. And the player he was debating this on was Spencer Dinwiddie, as was Brandon Jennings. And as we come to see very, very soon, then what he's taking the subject is pretty horrendous. The way I look at it is like, who would you, who would you choose number one in an all-time draft to like lead your franchise? The way you said like with a new owner, they're gonna give up, hey, you just came in the ownership group, here's number one pick. That's what you said. Uh -huh. Who are you choosing to lead your franchise Ooh. all time? For 20 years, Jordan. You, you, really? Really? Why are you acting I'm like that's cold. a, I'm you know what I'm saying? Because it, really? nah, I'm going cold. you can go, but you got Jordan. I, I, that's fine, but I, I got, I, I'm splitting them. I'm, I'm getting five out of them. Huh? I'm getting five. Kobe <laughs> my favorite player of all time, but like, from a business perspective, the league and all that stuff, I'm choosing Brian. I get 20 years. Hey, we got one sensible game we've been on. 20 years. So, stop on the clip right there. Let me give my two cents. <laughs> nah, Spencer did what he made that question just for, 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 Specifically for Braun, bro. He just he said, um, but star play would you want for twenty years, basically what he was trying to say. Like, come on, that's specifically for Braun. I can't say specifically right now, what the hell? In all time yeah. fantasy draft, the number one pick, look at LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan. Of course, all these guys are phenomenal players. But if you want the safest pick, the guy's gonna stay on your team and not leave. LeBron out of those three would rank third for me. Facts. As looking at his career, and Kobe he's no second. stranger to leaving Kobe was ready to leave. and building super teams. Well, mama though, but As after his first day Kobe in Cleveland, was definitely ready to leave. he was four years in Miami, went two and two in the finals, underachieved, back to Cleveland four more years, went one and three in the finals, and after that, has spent five years in Los Angeles, won bubble championship, missed playoffs twice, and had two more playoff appearances. For LeBron James to be first overall pick, it is extremely likely he's leaving your team in five to seven years. Facts. And for someone like Dinwiddie, to say he's going to have LeBron James for just 20 straight years is a ludicrous <coughs> hypothetical and a ludicrous argument. And I know what some fans will say, well, LeBron in Cleveland his first time, his teams were awful, the franchise was terrible. I'm not going to argue that Cleveland stint was a good stint of a supporting cast. But look at someone like Jordan. The Bulls team he went to is actually an expansion team from 20 years prior. And the recent history before Jordan is very similar to the Cavs before LeBron James. Mm -hmm. Look at 1984, 27-55. The next year, 28-54, 34-48, 45-37, 30-52, and 31-51. In six years before MJ, the Bulls had only one winning season and won two playoff games. The overall narrative that Jordan came into a ready-made team is an urban myth and an urban legend. As that Bulls team pre-MJ was a laughingstock in the West, as was the East. So I ask you guys, if you're the dream of a team, the owner of a team, and you're the first pick in the all-time draft, are you taking Michael Jordan, a guy who never leaves his team? Who are y'all taking? Let me know in the comments right now. Um, with the amount of research I've done so far, you know, I gotta start saying that. Because later on, my opinions will change as I gain more knowledge and things of that nature. But as, as of right now, with the research I have done so far, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to pick Michael Jordan. I ain't gonna lie. He stayed, you know what I'm saying? He played on the Bulls for what? 13 years, you know? I mean, Kobe played for the Lakers for 20. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. If we if we doing that hypothetical, 
the 20 years hypothetical, I'm going to have to go cold. I ain't going to lie. If you're doing a 20 year hypothetical, because Kobe was there for all 20. He was there for all 20. Wait, did he play 20 or 19? Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Let me know who y'all got in the comments, though, man. Never ask for help or teammates or a guy LeBron James who is guaranteed to meddle in the front office, leave your team, and build a super team in your own conference. Yeah. Like, there was no... During an era where they were the most physical. Yeah. So now you got yeah, an era I'm where... I my answer, because I owe a lot. Because I'm thinking about it. Mike played somebody with the Bulls. It, 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 it finally would have been said. <laughs> There's nobody physical like that. Oh yeah. my God! I mean, it's twenty. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take at what least, I see here and yeah. take all the elements, right? I'm just and then thing. say, here, no physical, no defense. They can't clothesline you. Who the fuck is stopping you? Yeah. It's tough. And 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 his work ethic to the point where you, you're talking about Jimmy Butler was on. It's, now you got Jim, put Jimmy Butler and the them, um, Kobe's mentality with Russell Westbrook. Put them together. That's Michael Jordan in practice. So Gilbert right here is speaking absolute facts about 1990s basketball and how physical it was in the players, the toll it took on them, and the overall will to play 82 games every single season. If Jordan in that era, averaging 34, 37 points per game, with hand checking, no three seconds, and actual rim protectors. What do you think he would yeah, do? Yeah, no three seconds is with the small crazy, ball bro. And the small ball fives. Now, nah, like Gary said, like, MJ in this era, at least stats wise, will be 2017 <gasps> Russell Westbrook. And his mentality of someone like Jimmy Butler in today's league, nah, that's a real bro. And a big ass. He's a, he gonna, nah, I mean, facts. It gives you a big ass. you going to be just. It's like God's just get get intimidated when you, when you got so much confidence and so much belief in yourself and competitiveness and willing to go at them so much. It's like they just stop stop believing in themselves and they stop they start. I don't know. I don't even know what's wrong with these guys in the NBA today, man. Imagine no Michael Jordan though, with man. better training, softer defense, some, much better recovery. Some real, you know what I'm saying? In 2023, niggas not trying to let nobody score, today, locking in all that. Most of these guys dominate off pure skill and not athletic ability. Yes, the average NBA athlete is better than 1990, but the superstars still today dominate off pure skill. As someone like Jokic, who they call a tub of lard is a walking 30, 10, and 10. Someone like Luka Doncic can average 34 points a game and make the West Finals at age 23. Even the old guys, Steph Curry and Kevin Durant at 35 are a walking 29 points. I can't even fathom what a prime Jordan, 88 to 93, Not will facts. accomplish and put up in this Ooh. league. I get 28. 50 balls all day. 20 years. Oh, okay. boy. You got 20. And he's a Swiss Army knife. He's going to play one through five. I can go get me a Wade to kind of sort of try to deal with Jordan and, and Kobe. You know what I'm saying? I can go get, but like, who? One through five. Well, you got 20 years. Now, if you can tell Jordan to rewind back and say, hey, there's going to be a guy that's going to put up 20 who years. Can't do that? No, but what I'm saying is there's going to be a kid that's going to put up 20 years. Right? And he's going to break the scoring record. Now go. He's not retiring ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, stopping that clip right there, Danny Witty once again is under the false assumption LeBron James is playing 20 straight years with his franchise. No superstar this side of Dirk and Kobe is playing with the team for 20 straight years. And look, LeBron James, of course, is indeed a Swiss Army Knight. But on defense, the old he can guard one through five argument, I've never really bought it wholesale. As watching prime LeBron James on offense, yes, he could play the five and go deep in the post. And on defense, he could switch on fives, guard them for stretches, but not for a single game was he guarding a five the entire 48 minutes. Not fact, if you want to be yeah, more yeah. accurate about it, which I'm gonna be, LeBron James primarily guards two through four with the ability to guard ones better than fives. As looking at someone like Derrick Rose, LeBron in his prime locked that dude up. 
but someone like Dwight Howard, <laughs> not a great offensively skilled center, dominated LeBron James when he tried to guard him in Cleveland. And one thing I'd say to Dinwiddie, it is kind of a personal preference, but if you knew Michael Jordan was a player who had never choked in a playoff series, and if you give him one all-star teammate, at the bare minimum, he's going to be in the East Finals in Game 7. I'm taking that guy every day of the week. As looking at Jordan pre-triangle offense, his numbers were Westbrook-like, averaging 32.5 points, 8.0 assists, 8.0 boards, with 2.9 steals. For his Bulls team, put them in points, assists, steals, and defensive rebounds. Oh, God. And for the God, entire I mean. NBA, he was top 10 in scoring, assists, and steals. Oh. If you stack 88 Jordan versus Prime LeBron at their two-way peaks, I would argue Jordan was a better quote-unquote Swiss Army knife. Mm. And his scoring ability, being so much better than LeBron James, outweighs any centers LeBron could possibly guard. And speaking of guarding, Dinwiddie very foolishly says he could find a player to guard a Kobe or a Jordan. <laughs> now look, both uh, Kobe yeah. and Jordan, they've had bad games. Even Kobe is at her I mean, series. I think you're giving him too much slack about that. He don't mean actually shut him down, things like that, but slow him down. Um, make it harder for him, things like that. He, I feel like you're giving him too much slack for this, man. And you said he disrespected him. I ain't hear no disrespect yet, honestly. I just heard... Uh, calm basketball talk, you know, opinions. That's a lot of her so far. For LeBron James, let's not rewrite oh history God, like he's always been perfect oh God, in the God, playoffs. <laughs> As we've seen, Ball Ew, State, San nasty, Antonio, bro, that's nasty. even Dallas nasty. locked down a prime LeBron James. And as a GM, if you get LeBron James help, Damn, get him with D-Way to Chris Bosh, there is still no guarantee <sighs> he's going to stay with your team for more than four years. Think about that. LeBron in 2014 left Pat Riley, one of the best basketball minds of 50 years, and Eric Spolstra, one of the best coaches of our era, for Cleveland. If those two guys, I mean, plus Wade, Bond, you know why he left for Cleveland though. It wasn't. Come on, man. He's from Cleveland. He tried to bring a, a championship to the home to his hometown that they haven't gotten 50 years. Come on, you gotta. See, you're not gonna, if you don't add that contact uncut, I know you're being the biased. The debt they had can't keep LeBron James in South Beach for more than four years. I doubt Spencer Dinwiddie can keep him in Cleveland for close to 20. If I'm like, okay, I'm an owner. I just stepped into this thing. I could draft one person all the time. And I know my franchise is going to be straight for 20 years. And I'm going to go to the finals at 16 out of the 20 years. I'm making a ton of money the whole night. I could put anybody around him. I mean, you know I, I can put a point guard with him. You put it like that. I can put anybody else. Like, that's a, that's a. I, 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 I would, I, I, mean, I would, I would. I usually like go, I usually that's go to wrong because I get everything. But when you're talking about what made Jordan Jordan, he didn't have a reference to follow. He was the best player on. But I think, ever. But I, but what I'm saying to be Magic though. What I'm saying, he's the, he was considered the best player ever by his second championship. Now stopping Dinwiddie once again. Saying LeBron James in 20 years would make 16 finals. It's a ridiculous standard and a ridiculous hypothetical argument. As we say, <laughs> looking at someone like Jordan, it is. in 13 years of the Bulls, he won six championships. Nearly half his career in Chicago, he was in the NBA finals. I'll take that resume and that stint over LeBron James making 25 finals and only winning four championships. I'm not gonna fry him with too hard. But I mean, but I think what he's saying is, I think what he's saying is, the fact him having Bron on the team, you know, that could help get him, get him there, you know, that could help get him there. And he's saying since he got control of the team, he's gonna, you know, say get the rest of those pieces and put them around Bron to complete that mission. I think that's what he's really saying, though. If you ask me, what y'all think about that though? Or? LeBron James is easy to build a team around is a pretty murky narrative. As mm. since 2010, LeBron James' teams have been a part of nearly 70 trades. And Facts. in terms of superstar help, he had Wade, Bosh, Kyrie, Love, Anthony Davis, even Westbrook. And the role players on his teams, they're passed around like Mariah Mills. I mean, I don't like that narrative. I don't like that narrative. 
we see it all like it's just obvious now nowadays a bunch of superstar talent doesn't equal a great team it's obvious you can't just throw a bunch of superstar talent superstar superstar caliber players together and expect them to go buck wild it's not how it works a team has to be you know what I'm saying constructed actually like actually constructed you know it's not going it's not a bunch of superstars together is not going to work. They got to construct the correct 2019 Lakers, even this year's Lakers, had entire roster overalls from top to bottom because of LeBron's demands. Of course, this debate and argument is a hypothetical. But for someone like Jordan, who never asked Krauss for help for teammates, it's a pretty stark contrast compared to LeBron James and his mass amount of trades. So that right there is the end of the video. This segment, as always, is very entertaining, very interesting, and Gilbert's podcast is one of the best out there going. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Nah. Yeah, that's the end of this one, though, y'all. If y'all enjoyed it, y'all know what to do. Click on the last reaction. I'm out of here, man. Share the video. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all got Facebooks and stuff like that. See the video on your Facebooks, TI little group chats and things of that nature. I'd appreciate it. And I'm out of here.